Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about fees, taxes, and why the wealthy avoid them and how the wealthy avoid them. So we're not going to go too deep into each individual account type because there's about 20 account types. I just want you guys to see them. I want you guys to take some screenshots. I want you guys to understand that uh, setting up some of these accounts can be a huge help and I want you to see how much of a help they can be. So start out with taxes. Actually, we'll start out with fees. So if you take a 1% fee, let's say that you have somebody managing your investments for you and you're getting an 8% return. Let's say that you're putting in $10,000 per year for 40 years, which is pretty average amount of time to be in your career. So if you took just that 1% fee, you're going to go from making uh, 2590000 over the course of 40 years to making 1.9 million, 1.99 million. So you're losing about 600,000 just by having a 1% management fee. So that's something to take, uh, be very vigilant of is how, what your fee structure is within your retirement account. The next thing is taxes. So if you had a 1% fee and you had about a 20% tax rate on those investment returns, that would take you from that uh, 2.59 million that you'd have uh, after 40 years, all the way down to 140,000, 1.4 million, excuse me. So you guys can do the math on the Edward Jones calculator, retirement calculator, and see that for yourself. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this next thing before we close out the video. I just really quickly want to show you guys these things, the four boxes. I'm going to show you guys on the screen what I'm looking at here. So We've got four boxes and they have to do with taxes. So before I get into the investment returns, I want to give you guys the assumptions that they assumed in these four boxes. So what they assumed is that you invested $10,000 of your gross income. They assumed that you got a rate of return of 6%. They assumed that your tax bracket was 28%. And they assumed that your uh, after-tax distribution rate was 6%. So let's look at what's in these boxes. So for box one, we're looking at after-tax contributions. They're taxable during accumulation, and then they're taxable when you withdraw. So these are things like bank accounts, certificates of deposit, and money market accounts, some bond funds, some government bonds, and government securities. So basically those are either debt instruments or just bank accounts. So you're getting taxed on the money, you're putting it in, you're getting taxed while it's in there, and then when you take it out, you can be taxed as well. So that's box number one. Box number two down here is after-tax contributions, non-taxable during accumulation, and taxed at distribution. So here you've got annuities, you've got certain cash value life insurance, you've got non-deductible IRAs, you've got excess contributions to qualified plans, so like if you had excess contributions to, say, an education plan or something like that, that's a different topic for another day. And you've got U.S. savings bonds. So that's box two. Box three over here, you've got pre-tax contributions. They're non-taxable during accumulation, so you won't be taxed on, say, the returns uh, while the account is um, making money in, in the form of interest or dividends. And then they'll be taxable at distribution. So once you take the money out of these accounts, they'll be taxable. So 401k Kios, which is basically like a, uh, it's basically like a, an IRA, a SEP IRA. It's basically the same thing. It's for um, non-incorporated businesses or uh, self-employed individuals. You've got pension plans, profit sharing plans, uh, self-employed pension plans. It's a SEP IRA. Deductible IRAs, tax sheltered annuities, 403b. So that's like teachers and whatnot. Simple IRAs or 401k plans. So basically these are going to take either they're going to be deducted from your pay directly or you're going to take your money and deduct that from your taxes later. So that's box three and box four are things that are going to be taxed now and then they're not going to be taxed during the accumulation phase and then they're not going to be taxed when you pull money out. So these are going to be like your Roth 401ks, Roth IRAs, certain cash value life insurance, 529, which is your college savings plan, which we talked about, municipal bonds, and we already said Roth IRAs. Coverdell accounts, those are education accounts. So let's go down here and see what the effect is. So I'm going to put the whole thing on the screen, but I'm just going to, for time's sake, focus on the 30 
year option. Let's just assume that you're going to save in each one of these ways for 30 years and you're going to get a 6% return. With box one, when you've got taxes taken out at the beginning, you've got taxes taken out during accumulation and you've got taxes taken out when you take the money out of the account, you end up with $444,000. If you were to withdraw that at 6%, that'd be $19,000 a year. Box two, which is tax to after tax contributions, non taxable during accumulation, taxable at distribution, you've got $494,000. So you've got a $50,000 jump there just for things not being taxed uh, during accumulation. Box three over here, you got pre tax contributions. They're not taxable during contribution, and then they are taxable when you take them out. You see here, you've got about, what's that? About a $100,000 jump or so, just over $100,000. And then it's approximately the same. This will depend on your whole tax situation and what you decide to do with your taxes. It's approximately the same in box four. So all that to say, a lot of people, they will go forward with taxable options. But as you can see here, if you don't go with the tax deferred options, you will lose out on something like $150,000. So that is something to consider while you're still young. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. I just wanted to break that down really quick. And we're putting out a Juneteenth video tomorrow. So if you guys want to hear some black history, black stuff tomorrow, come, by through the, come back through the video and uh, see you guys in the next one.